and welcome to my studio. I hope everybody had a wonderful Easter. I sure did. I love Easter. I love this time of year. It's a great time of year because everything starts to come to life again. It's so lovely to see everything coming back to life. See winter moving south and summer moving north. I love that. It's our time of year when the flowers and the trees are all starting to come to life and come starting to bud. The birds are all over the place. The Canada geese are, have come home. It's lovely to see life back. And this is what Easter actually represents. It represents the celebration of new life, new birth, new beginnings. Celebrating this, the feeling of freshness of life as we get out of our winter hibernation. There's a lesson, or lessons to be learned from Easter. We are God's highest form of creation. With God being omnipresent, meaning everywhere, that means every cell of our body is filled with the magnificence of the mighty power. The power within is greater than anything that you will ever experience. Anything that you're ever going to go through, you can rise above. Rise above your difficulties. Rise above your limiting beliefs. Rise above your past. Let it go and start fresh and new. And know that the power in you is greater than anything that you will ever go through or ever grow through. And now that Easter is over, I'm excited today to announce, we have, I have a special announcement today. We are going, to, I'm celebrating by, <coughs> we're celebrating our birthday kit. On the weekend, it was my grandson Evan's seventh birthday. And in honor of his seventh birthday, we are going to launch our very first ever birthday kit. But before we do that, I'm going to address the most or one of the most asked questions that I get is how do you remove it? How do you take it off your window? So we have our beautiful Easter eggs that we did a couple of weeks ago or last week. And I've already given them a spray. <clears throat> And I'm going to put my apron on to do this as well. I have my apron right here. I like to wear my apron when I'm working because I've got to tell you, I've ruined a lot of clothes not wearing an apron. So it just saves my clothes. So I have my bottle of water with a little bit of dish soap. You don't want to use Windex. You don't want to use Vito. You don't want to use anything other than a little bit of water and dish soap. And I'll tell you why. When I paint this on, I use acrylic paint, which is a water-based paint. And we it's a liquid when you put it on. Well, we want to turn it back into a liquid again. And to turn it back into a liquid again, simply spray water and a little bit of dish soap the water can be warm warm water is nice it doesn't have to be too hot it seems to actually work better if the water is warm a little bit warm um, it breaks the paint down faster but i want you to see how easy this is to come off so we're starting at the end and now i like to use a razor blade, a sharp razor blade. I do not recommend this being used by children. Adults only, please. For children, you can use something that's plastic or something else to scrape it off if you want them to clean it off. But if you're going to clean it off, you and 
Only adults, please use this uh, razor blade. And see how easy it comes off? I like to do long, clean strokes. It makes it easier for, uh, to, it makes it easier afterwards to clean up the mess. Makes less mess. You'll see some of the black lines are sticking a little bit, but that's okay. After I'm finished, I'll just go back over that again. Whoops. And sometimes you can't go the way you want to. Depends on the way the paint's been put on. If it's been put on in a certain direction, then it's easier to take it off in that same that same direction. If you know what I mean. But see how easy it is to come off? And what I did is before the video started, I gave it a spray. And then it was, that was about five minutes before the video started. And then you saw when I started after the video started, I gave it another spray. And see how easy that is to remove it. Now, we're painting this on the inside of the window. If you're painting it on the outside of the window, well, if it's only temporary, it doesn't matter anyways, as long as it's not a rainy, rainy day when you're trying to paint it. What is this that we have behind here? Well, this is a surprise. We are celebrating. We are celebrating our birthday, but we're going to celebrate with our unicorn birthday. So I've got most of it off there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give it another spray because there's some, some areas where the black has stuck on. Now the black is not acrylic paint. The black is actually permanent marker. Yes, you heard right, permanent marker. But permanent, or permanent, permanent marker is not permanent on glass because glass is not porous. And because glass is not porous, the permanent marker doesn't adhere to it. So it comes off easy. See? It's just water. Nothing else. Just water. A little bit of dish soap. And it comes off easy. So you don't have to worry about it trying to wreck your windows or anything. The only thing you might be concerned about is when you put it on, maybe the kids won't want to take it off. They might like it too much. So now I get a clean rag. <laughs> and what do we have here now? We have a unicorn. So we are going to celebrate our first birthday is going to be a unicorn birthday. Now here's, I'm going to show you some of the stencils that come with a birthday kit. There's a birthday cake. There's also a big cup cake. These things, the kids love to paint these. Oh, that's upside down. Some presents, some crown, and some some balloons and this is to fully decorate 
for birth for your birthday or for a birthday. Kids love it. The kids love to be involved in decorating. They like to paint it on. You can create a party just out of painting the window on. Think about that. So what we're going to do here is we have got Mr. Unicorn. Now I've got to tell you, when you put the unicorn on the window, kids might not want to take it off. I know a little girl who's had it on her window for two years now. And she loves it. Well, she helped paint it. In fact, I think she painted almost all of it. So what we're going to do is we are going to draw unicorn using the marker that comes in the kit. Excuse me. Using the marker that comes in the kit, we are going to draw on the inside of the window. So this stencil is taped on the outside of the window. Here I'm just using it, a piece of glass so that I can show you how it's done without having to wait in and out all of the time. So let's put this a little bit more this way. Okay. So this is the unicorn. It's a stencil taped on the outside of the window. On the inside of the window. Now, the thing that's nice and you want to do this during the daytime because when this is taped to the window the light shines through now unfortunately because i don't have this on a real window that's taped to the outside i don't have the light shining through but to do that right you should have a light have the on the out the window and the light shines through and you can see your stencil really really very well here, I have to use this overhead light to see the stencil. So let's start with the ears. When I'm working in an area, I like to do the all the stuff in that area so I don't forget. But now I'm going to do the outline. Easy to do. All you have to do is follow the lines. <clears throat> and these birthday kits are also a great birthday present, especially with the unicorn in it. Because as I say, I know a little girl who's had it on her window for two years now. And you just let it flow. You don't have to push too hard. Just keep your hand light, relaxed. See, and it's just hair or horse hair. And don't forget, when you're doing art, there's always artistic license, and you can be creative. And I, I encourage that. Be creative. See, look at it. It doesn't take long to do this. All you got to do is trace the lines. And you'll be so proud of your accomplishment. You'll love it. You won't want to take it off either when you see it done. You'll say, oh, wow, that's neat. I did that. Or my daughter did that. Or my son did that. Or whatever. You'll be so proud. You'll be so proud. And everyone will. Uh-oh. 
I almost forgot to make him a real unicorn. And just keep your hand light when you're using the marker. Don't worry about... Sometimes if you keep it too tight, then it makes your hand shaky. Just keep it light. There we go. There's Mr. Unicorn. And that's all we're going to do with him today. Next time when we come back, we're going to paint him in. We're going to put some colors on him. Maybe you can help. What color do you think he should be? Give me your suggestions. I truly, truly would appreciate all of your suggestions. What color should we do the unicorn? I'll be looking forward to that. In the meantime, <clears throat> go to windowartkit.com and have a look and see what we've got. And this kit will be available soon. Presently, it's on order. So if you want to order one, then you can do that. Have a great day. And until the next time, be the magic. And shine. Be the magic and shine brightly. <laughs>